everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to make any Android app add up landscape view mode without using any third party app in Samsung tablets. So, without for more delay, let's begin. So, right now, you can see my Samsung tablet home screen. So, firstly, let me open one application. Say, I'm opening one Reddit application. So you can see here, it's showing in the portrait mode, right? So, let me show you. You can see here, I've already enabled the landscape mode. So you can see here, but the application is not able to add up the landscape view and it's showing in the portrait view mode. So, how to make such kind of app to add up landscape view mode without using any third party app in Samsung tablets? So for this, what you need to do is just go to the settings and just scroll down and you will see here one option written advanced features, just tap on it and now on the right side, you can see one option written labs, just tap on it. Now at the bottom, you will see one option auto rotate apps, just tap on it and now you will see all the application that is being installed on your respective Samsung tablets. So now just search for the respective application. So in my case, it's a Reddit. So just tap on the respective application. And now you will see here three options. First one by default is the app default. Second one is the app aspect ratio. And the last option is a full screen. So for the landscape view mode, just select the last option that is a full screen and now after selecting this let us try to reopen the application so let me open this application read it so now you can see it's showing in the landscape view so before it was not able to add up landscape view mode by default but after enabling this option full screen option it is adapting the landscape view mode so by going to this option, you can easily make any Android apps add up landscape view mode without using any third party app in Samsung tablets very easily. So if you never known about this cool options present in your respective Samsung tablets, then you should definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button. And if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button. And lastly, thanks for watching.